Hi guys, this is Dawn with Fantastic Friends and today I'm coming to you with a yummy recipe. Today we are making sweet potato souffle. Oh yes, I love sweet potatoes. And so yes, this recipe is going to be yummy. And let me tell you what you're going to need. Now I'm going to give you the full recipe for an 8 by 12 casserole dish for this recipe. But I am making a half recipe because of course it's just me. So the ingredients I'm listing off is for the full recipe, but you'll notice that my ingredients are only half the size. So what you will need is one cup of sugar and you can either use one cup of white sugar or you can use half and half half white half brown you will need two eggs and of course i'm using one egg because i'm having the recipe you will need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla one cup of milk and one stick of room temperature butter and I'll be having that um, stick of butter in half for my recipe then you will also need 29 ounces which you can use either canned sweet potatoes or you can cook your own 29 ounces of cooked sweet potatoes and I have gone ahead and baked some sweet potatoes, peeled them, and then run them through this uh, food processor. And I have that in this uh, container right here. And then I measured it out on my kitchen scale. Then for the yummy, crunchy pecan topping, you need one cup of chopped pecans, one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of flour, a quarter cup of melted butter, and mine is in the microwave right now, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And if you don't care for cinnamon in your sweet potato souffle, you can um, actually omit that if you want. Um, but I think it adds a little something. So, okay guys? Let's make a sweet potato souffle. Okay guys, now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cream your butter and your sugars together. And I've already got them in this bowl right here. And that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and once you have your butter and sugar creamed together, then you're going to add your egg. Or if you're making the full recipe, that'll be both eggs, one at a time. And 
make sure that your eggs and butter are at room temperature. Okay, and now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So we're going to add our sweet potato that I baked and then ran through the food processor. I'm also making a sweet potato pie and cornbread dressing. So my countertop right now is full of ingredients that I've been measuring out trying to get everything ready for tomorrow. And you want to also preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So go ahead and have that preheating while you're doing this. I don't want any of this yumminess to go to waste. And the vanilla. I'm going to keep my vanilla out because, like I said, I am making a pie as well today. So I actually baked a lot of sweet potatoes. Oh my goodness, my arthritis. I probably should have done this in the stand mixer, but I didn't want to lug it out. Okay, that looks good. Now we need to pour this into our casserole dish and mix our topping to go on top. What did I do with my spatula? Here we go. I can barely hold the bowl. My arthritis is hurting so bad. Oh. But 
I'll get it done. Okay, and then now I'm going to spread that out. Now that I'm thinking about it, I had some aluminum pans I could have used and saved myself some dishes. Okay guys, and now I have the pecans and brown sugar in this bowl, and I'm going to give them a little, just a little mix real quick. And then I'm going to toss in the flour and give that just a quick mix. Nothing big, just, just a quick mix. And then I'm going to pour in the butter. And you're going to want to mix this and just before it's completely incorporated so about right here I'm going to toss in that half, well, if you're doing the whole recipe, it'll be a whole teaspoon, but I'm tossing in a half teaspoon of cinnamon. And this is a brand new cinnamon, so I need to open it up. So I'm going to sprinkle in that half teaspoon and then now I'm going to finish mixing this oh I lost a pecan until there's no more flour showing I want all that flour completely incorporated. No more white showing whatsoever. Have an arthritis. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now, make sure that you have clean hands, which I do. And besides, I'm the only one eating this. You're going to want to take this and start sprinkling it on top of your sweet potato mix.
And don't worry, you'll have plenty. Make sure you get the edges. Just like that. And now, we're going to put it in the oven, like I said, at 350 for about 45 minutes. And when it's done, I'll be back. Okay, guys. The sweet potato souffle just came out of the oven. And my house smells so delicious. I want so badly to take a taste right now, but of course, it's bubbling hot. But I will have to wait on that taste. So guys, there is the sweet potato souffle. And shortly... I will be making a sweet potato pie. And then after that, cornbread dressing to move on with the Thanksgiving little feast that I'm going to have at my house. So I will see you guys later. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe, hit the bell, so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And as always, love, hugs, and kitty kisses. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday. See you later. Bye, guys.